This is the prerequisite review for section 4.6, Modeling with Exponential and Logarithmic Functions. We have two objectives in this worksheet. We will begin with number one, solving literal equations for an indicated variable. So we will be told what variable to solve for. So here we begin with a equals LW, and we are solving for L. So this is what we want to solve for right there. So what we have is let's divide both sides by W. So those will cancel, and we now end up with a over W equals L. So you could say L equals A over W. Okay, looking at number two, as you can see, we are solving for Y. So now we need to isolate that term. So let's go ahead and subtract 3X from both sides, and here you see we now have 5y equals 15 minus 3x. We can divide every term by 5, and here, of course, we will be able to cancel those 5s, and we have y is equal to, whoops, that 5 didn't show up there, and we have 3 minus 3 fifths x. Okay, looking at number 3, we are going to be solving for y, and we want to move the other terms out of the way, so we will subtract 1 fourth x from both sides. And we have negative 2 thirds y equals 2 minus 1 fourth x. Now this can be a little tricky. We're going to multiply both sides by a negative 3 halves. So let's look carefully. We are going to have y left on this side of the equation. As you can see, the 3's cancel, the negative 2's cancel. So that's pretty interesting. But now we have to distribute this negative 3 halves. So we have a negative 3 halves times 2, and then we have a, we'll go ahead and put that 1 fourth x and put a negative 3 halves there. So we have a negative 3, so let's watch what we have here. And then here our negatives cancel. We know we have a positive, and we have a 3 over 8x left. Okay, let's look at number 4. Here we are solving for b. So, if we come back, we want to, let's start with multiplying both sides by a 3. So here we have 3v equals, and as you can see, I'll use green, the 3's cancel, and we end up with just b times h. Now we're solving for b, so all we have to do is divide, and let me go ahead and make these threes green so that you could see what I did to both sides. And we'll divide both sides now by three, excuse me, by H, so that we can cancel those. And we end up with B is equal to three V over h. So let me write that four words, 3v over h. Sometimes these can be a little difficult because you have all variables. Okay, this isn't too bad. 
we want to solve this for r. So as you can see, if we just divide both sides by i squared, I'll cancel this with a different color this time, you can see that r is equal to p over i squared. Okay, looking at number six, we are solving this equation for r. So as you can see, we can just divide both sides by two pi, and we end up with r is equal to c over two pi. Okay, taking a look at number seven, we are solving for r right there. So the first thing that we'll do is we will divide both sides by pi. So we end up with r squared is equal to a over pi. Let's turn this around. So what we have to do is we have to take the square root of both sides. We only want a positive r value, so we are only taking the positive root. So we have r equals the square root of a over pi. So we do have to be careful because right now r is the square root of a over the square root of pi. So we do need to rationalize that denominator by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the square root of pi, and we get a pi divided by pi. And then a pi in the numerator is under a root. Looking at number 8, we are solving for x right there. So we will go ahead and multiply both sides. Why don't I just do the whole thing times a 3? So we have 3v is equal to x squared h. Let's divide both sides by h. So we have 3v over h is equal to x squared. And I'm going to turn it around. So now I will take the square root of both sides. And again, we only want the positive for x. So we end up with x is equal to the square root of 3v over h. And that's equal to the square root of 3v divided by the square root of h. We do need to rationalize that denominator. So we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of h, and we get x equals the square root of 3vh all over h. Okay. See if I can make this a tad bit smaller and bring that up. Okay. Getting a little more difficult we're going to find this c and solve for it. So as you can see, I need to isolate it. So let's subtract a squared and b squared from both sides. And as you can see here, those will cancel. And we end up with c squared is equal to d squared minus a squared minus b squared. So now, we only want the c that's greater than or equal to zero. Let me put that in green so it really stands out. So we're going to take only the positive root, and we have c is equal to the square root of d squared minus a squared minus b squared. Okay. Let's take a look at number 10. And in number 10, we have a new objective, 
and this is to evaluate functions. We've done a lot of this, but we're going to keep reviewing this. So they give us a function f, and f of x is 6x squared minus 4. So f of 0, remember x is 0. We have 6 times 0 squared minus 4. Of course, anything times 0 is 0. So we just end up with a negative 4. f of 1, x is equal to 1. So we have 6 times 1 squared minus 4. And we end up with 2. f of negative 1, we have 6 times a negative 1 squared minus 4. We have 6 times 1 again, and we have 2 again. Okay, looking at number 13. We don't see 13 here on my notes, but I will tell you that 13 was to find f of b. So f of b here, our x is b, so it is 6b squared minus 4. And why don't I change that color there so that we have our answer in the same pink ink as the others. Okay. Um, well, I guess I copied 14 and 15 wrong, so um, let's go ahead and just wait on number 14, and let's go to number 15. So here x is equal to negative 2, so we have 6 times negative 2 squared minus 4, and that's 6 times 4. 24 minus 4, and we have 20. Okay, looking at number 16, we have a new function, h of x, and now we have h of negative 3. So we are going to put all of these x values in for that x value where x is in the function. So negative 3 minus 3, and we get negative 1 half. Looking at number 17, 3 divided by 0 minus 3, and we arrive at negative 1. h of 2, we have 3 divided by 2 minus 3, 3 divided by negative 1, and we end up with negative 3. Finally, we have number 19, 3 divided by 5 minus 3, and 3 divided by 2. And that concludes this worksheet.